Hi everybody and, and welcome to the third part already. And of course we are going to study now the three quarter or trois quarts, as the French say, of the portrait. And I think this is the most, um, well, challenging one. Now in lesson one and two we did the front theory and practice. Then in lesson three and four we took a look at the side view. And for this tutorial we are going to do the trucker. And uh, well, I've taken of course again um, pictures of my own face and I'm going to uh, look at the trucker while the face is uh, moving away from us more. Now this is a circle. Uh, but what happens uh, when I uh, rotate this, then an ellipse starts to show. And you can actually, uh, well, just try this for yourself. Uh, try to draw a cylinder and then put in the line for the three-quarter position. Then divide this line into three parts. That's the, the line for the eyebrows and the line for the nose. So that's very simple to do. And of course you can also uh, rotate the cylinder a little bit. So now we have a lot of wood or something. And we also divide this in three equal parts. Uh, a line for the eyebrows and for the nose again. And in this case, uh, we would be looking, uh, well, from down below. And you can see uh, actually the chin starting to show and you can see the underneath of the nose. And this would be the line for the, uh, the Riley line that goes towards the chin. You could actually see where the ear is going to be. It's between the first and second line. And then you can easily draw in uh, the, the holes for where the eyes are going to be. And you can start drawing in the Riley line so you can uh, create uh, the cheek line. Then you can carve off a little bit of that lump of uh, wood and then actually draw in uh, the the top of the skull and the forehead and the muscles around the mouth and what you do then is you create a feel of 3D. Now in this case uh, we would be looking from above so uh, you can see the cylinder and the uh, ellipse on top then the lower part you can also divide into three lines for the mouth and the chin and the light is coming from the left in this case on my patreon page there uh, is more info about this of course so you can check that out if you want and um, well also here I'm drawing in those Riley lines that we are studying for uh, all this time now and here I cut away a little bit of that wooden log and then I can easily place in the ear of course between the first and the second line. Then I draw in the forehead here and then I cut off a little bit of that log of wood. And then I create the top of the skull. And what you actually are doing is you uh, transform that cylinder into a 3D portrait. And then I put in another cylinder underneath that head so that the head is resting upon the shoulders. And this is a very, very uh, easy way to get to understand uh, how the shadow is falling around the head, uh, how the shadows are appearing underneath the nose and underneath the lower lip for instance. So this is a very nice and quick way to study the face without going into detail. Okay, back to our lesson. Here I am again, three times myself in this case 
and please try to make uh, pictures of your own face of course so you can explore it and I'm putting in the Riley lines that we want to learn to see now I make sure to connect the eyes of course and in this case I've placed the eyes all on one line for you to keep it as easy as possible then I simply start drawing in all the Riley lines and what happens is that you can actually start to see for instance here that the chin is um, well is, is more forward and the Riley lines are actually lines that also indicate shadow parts so very very helpful indeed in becoming a master in drawing portraits simply by seeing those lines and the lines are all connected there is a rhythm in them and um, well also you have to make sure that the position of the pupils is also correct in this case I'm simply placed them all horizontal then there's something happening with the nose too, of course. In the first picture, I am uh, almost looking straight. Almost, but it's still a three-quarter. Then in the second picture, uh, the head is uh, rotated a, a little bit more. And in the third picture, the head is very much rotated. And watch what that does. The right eye is 2 cm now, while the left eye is only 1 cm. Same thing happens for the line inside the mouth. The left side is about 8 mm, while the right side is 2 cm. So you have to take notice of that too. There is foreshortening going on, so there's a lot of perspective going on. And if you don't get to see those Riley lines, then you wouldn't be aware of it. And then maybe you would draw a portrait and then the portrait is finished and you were thinking, well, something ain't correct. And often that is something about those perspectives. Now, the earlobe and the ear itself, in the left picture, you can just see the left earlobe. But... In the second picture, the left ear is already uh, has disappeared. And in the third picture, you can actually see that ellipse for the ear getting bigger. So also that you have to take notice of. So there's something happening with the eyes, something with the nose, with the mouth, with the ears. All those... Um, lines and all those areas are connected and the Riley lines continue to go over the face but they are foreshortened same here it's the line that comes from inside the mouth and then goes over the cheek and this is also a line uh, where you can see some uh, shadow so they are uh, kind of edges that you can now see and you can see parts that are in the shadow and they all have to do with those lines those Riley lines that indicate where the muscles are going so when I started to see those lines and make them my own my portraits instantly started to become better. They make more sense and um, they are more correct. I can see the planes for the side of the head. So um, those are the planes that, that are flattened down. And you have to make sure that it also looks flattened. And also these ellipses become bigger as the head is rotated a little bit further away from us.
And same goes for the circle, which is the forehead. It's a big bone. That big circle is very important for what happens inside the eyes. So, um, well, actually, of course, all those lines are very important. But the most important is that you can see the rhythms uh, and that is they are all connected with each other and that you can see the foreshortening and also the nostrils and you can see it happening are foreshortened so the left uh, nose entrances become smaller and smaller and the right nose entrances become bigger Now, I simply start to continue the Riley lines, make them all in place, of course. And maybe this is a lot of information, of information for you to take in. But I want to make sure that you simply take pictures of yourself or of someone that you want to draw. Print them out. Then take a charcoal pencil or whatever pencil you want. And start drawing those lines over them and uh, well of course next week we are going to make this and put this into practice using those same lines and then starting to draw our face so I would say I wish you all the luck all the goods for this awesome study see you next friday maybe see you on my patreon page but for sure here on youtube thank you for watching